Hello everyone, we are from Team Marketix. The objective of this video is that we will measure customer loyalty using Net Promoter Score analysis. So, what is Net Promoter Score? Well, Net Promoter Score is a metric for measuring customer loyalty that was developed by Fred Richheld in 1990s. Company's NPS is based on one single ultimate question. On a scale of 0 to 10, how likely is it would you recommend to your friend, families and business associates? Moving on, so the next part is surveying customers. For calculating NPS, the question is asked in a customer survey where the customer answers this question on a scale from 0 to 10. Customers who answer with a 9 or 10 would most likely recommend to a friend. Those who answer with 7 or 8 are neutral. Those who answer 0 to 6 most likely would not recommend to a friend. The next part is calculating net promoter score. Once customer survey is done, tally up the total number of respondents and then tally up the number of re respondents in each category. Determine the percentage breakdown of each category. So the formula which we will use is given below. For example, if you surveyed 10 customers and 8 were promoters and 2 were detractors, 80% would be promoters and 20% would be detractors. The formula for your NPS calculation would be NPS is equal to 80% minus 20% is equal to 60. Moving on, the next part is understanding the net promoter score. Firstly, the optimal NPS would be 100 with every single one of your customers saying that they would recommend you to a friend. Secondly, NPS would be minus 100 being the worst possible score that none would recommend you to a friend. Thirdly, to put into perspective what sort of NPS your favorite companies are earning, here's a quick snapshot. Apple 89, Amazon 69, Google 38. Moving on, so the applications of NPS analysis are firstly, referral marketing. A high NPS helps companies take advantage of referral marketing, which helps companies harness the enthusiasm of promoter, customer to generate buzz to attract new customers. Secondly, improving customer loyalty. The importance of NPS is that it gives you insight into your customer loyalty spectrum. By measuring customer loyalty, you can identify customer experience, weak points that needs improvement. So friends, in the next video, we would be learning about customer lifetime value analysis. The data and the explainer video of this analysis can be downloaded from the link below. Thank you.